In this video, I go over the installation process of my new shower head, the AquaCare High Pressure Shower Head with a six foot hose. I'll go over the price, what you get in the box, the reasons I purchased, a quick tip, and the installation. So I purchased the shower head in March of 2023 for $35 including tax off Amazon. The link is in the description in case you want to grab the same one. It comes in three different colors and I chose satin nickel and I'm just now noticing that there's a slight price increase since I purchased. While I'll show you what comes in the box I'll give you a couple of reasons for getting the new head. The one I've been using came with the house in 2005 and is a basic builder grade head, nothing fancy. I wanted to upgrade to get more pressure and a few other options. This one is marked as high pressure and after using I agree with that description. With the many settings you will see much higher pressure than the builder grade head. The other reason is I wanted a hose. Hoses come in handy when you're bathing pets and also for cleaning the shower. And just in case you were wondering, paying a plumber to come out and do this will cost you between $75 and $150. Next, we need to remove the old shower head. For both the removal and install, we need a set of pliers, an adjustable wrench, Teflon tape to seal the threads, and a rag so we don't scratch any of our surfaces. Quickly, here are the parts we'll be working on, the shower flange, the shower arm, and the shower head. Use the rag to cover the arm. This will help prevent us from scratching as we grip it with the pliers, and the reason we're gripping it with the pliers is so that the arm doesn't move while we're using the adjustable wrench to loosen the head. The shower arm is connected to another pipe in the wall, and if it twists too much, it can break the seal and cause a leak inside the wall. We definitely do not want that. The next step we want to do is remove any Teflon tape or gunk that's built up on the threads. You can use a toothbrush for this step, but mine wasn't too bad, so I just pulled off the gasket with my fingers. And just in case you're wondering, this is what my filming setup looks like. Now it's time to install the new shower head. This is the connection point on the head. We'll dive deeper into this in a little bit. But now it's time to install our Teflon tape. The point of this is so that we seal the threads and prevent water from leaking from this connection point. To install this properly, you'll want to wrap the tape clockwise around the threads a few times. Doing it clockwise is very important. If the Teflon tape is counterclockwise, it'll start to bind and unravel as we tighten the shower head holder. This is the shower head holder and it has a connection nut that requires a washer. Be sure to get the washer seated properly or it can become damaged as we screw the mount onto the shower arm. Now we'll attach the shower head holder onto the shower arm by turning in a clockwise direction. Hand tight should be enough, but it's also okay to use a wrench or pliers if needed. If you do, be sure to use a rag to prevent scratching the finish. Next, we'll attach the six foot hose. It comes with two washers, which we'll attach at each end. Again, make sure they're seated properly before tightening down. To tighten, turn clockwise, aka righty tighty. And a trick to prevent cross threading is when your nut meets the thread, start counterclockwise until you feel everything line up. Then start your clockwise tightening. And we'll repeat all that on this side as well. The next step is to attach the shower head to the hose, but before that, I'm going to remove the flow restrictor. By law, flow restrictors are installed on all shower heads manufactured after 1992. You don't have to remove yours, but it does allow for more water to flow, and in some cases, increases the pressure and overall shower experience. This is what a flow restrictor looks like and as you can tell they come in many different colors and sizes. Knowing what it looks like should help us make sure we remove the right piece. The gray piece here is our flow restrictor. It's hard to remove and I wasn't able to get a grip on anything with my needle nose pliers and decided to screw in a screw so that I have something to grip onto and pull it out. Worked like a charm. Now that we have the flow restrictor removed, we can attach our shower head to the hose. Now that it's completely installed, let's take a look at the different options it has in case you're interested in picking up the same model.
So now that we played with it for a few minutes and tested out the options, it's a good time to check for leaks at all our connection points. And from what I can tell, we are leak free. Here I'll show you how long the hose is. It's nice and long and will make baiting any size dog a breeze. One of the other options with this head that'll help with dog baiting is the wall mount that was included. I'm going to install mine here, which should allow me to holster the head while I'm scrubbing on a dog. All right, that works and looks perfect. I'm so happy with how this project turned out. If you're still here, I'd like to say thank you for checking out the video. And please hit the like button and think about subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.